Ah, uh, Shalom. Uh, first and foremost, all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakaq Dash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Blessings to the hopeful elect teaching this word in all sincerity and in truth. Um, I don't even have uh, a, a particular subject, man. I'm just going in the spirit. Uh, the first scripture that I'm going to go into here is Second Peter's chapter uh, uh, three, verse the, verse nine. It says, "The Lord is not slack concerning His promise, as some count slackness, but is long suffering to usward, <clears throat> not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance." Now, when you go to um, reading that scripture, that makes me think of the scripture that is written down in James. And I'm going to get that real quick, but hey, let's break this down real quick. Okay, let me read it again. It says, the Lord is not slack concerning his promise. All right. Now, we already know that the Lord is going to come with them chariots, man. All right. Like a whirlwind. Like it tells you in uh, Isaiah 66 and 15. All right. The Lord, a lot of people think that the Lord is going to come out and give out free hugs and hang, hang out roses and lollipops, man. And candy floss. That's not what the Lord is coming to do, man. The Lord is coming to basically bring that fire, man. All right. He's coming with them chariots. All right, and there's going to be a lot of death. There's going to be a lot of mourning out here. All right, so what you got to understand is, but the, th the thing is, at the same time, hey, the elect are going to receive what, man? They're going to receive the kingdom. All right, they're going to walk into the kingdom. They ain't going to have to, you know, uh, uh, for the most part, the bulk of the elect ain't going to have to die uh, the second death. All right, because at the end of the day, you, hey, there's going to be some of us that are going to be put in concentration camps and tried and beheaded for the word of the Lord and if, be st stand stiffly for the name of the Lord. All right. Like the vision that was shown to Ezra's, uh, uh, there was men that were getting crowned by a man that was of taller stature than, than all the rest. We can get that as well, all right? And that man was Jehovah Shai. But the, the reason what I'm, I'm going into this is because you've got to understand that the Lord's promise, eh, he ain't slack, man. The Lord says, I am the Lord, there, uh, I change not. Therefore, you sons of Jacob are not consumed. So a part of the Lord's promise is that he's going to save us out of this hellhole, all right? Under the, uh, under the uh, captivity of these Edomites, man. All right? And that's what we hope for. Okay. And it says, As some men count slackness, but is long suffering to usward. All right. And the Lord's been long suffering to usward, man. Before we came into this truth and before we repented, hey, we was getting up into all sorts of madness, man. And sometimes even coming into this thing, we still do go off. Why? Because the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Hey, so brothers, don't, you know, don't, don't beat yourselves, you know, uh, beat yourselves up too much Don't be over righteous The scripture says Why shouldest thou destroy us thyself But at the same time Knowing that way hey, A righteous man what Fall of seven times But get back up man So you got to understand that Hey The uh, the things that we're doing now Is a shadow of things to come Alright Like all the high holy days Like we've got the Pesach Coming over now, coming up now Alright That's a re rehearsal of things to come The, the Sabbath Days that we keep Those are the shadows of things to come man And, and we can't get it perfect right now Because we're in the flesh Some brothers have to work On a, a Shabbat some brothers have to, you know, do certain things on the Shabbat, man. And it's just the, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. And we're also subjugate, uh, subjugated to, to Esau's rules at the moment, man. All right. And that's why we, we, you know, we navigate as best we can in this world. Because the scripture says, use the world as not abusing it. But at the same time, it's a rehearsal. Judges 5 and 11. All right. They that are delivered from the noise of ar arches from the places of drawing water. The places of drawing water represent what? Slavery. All right. There shall they rehearse to righteous acts of the Lord. And that's what we're doing right now. And the Lord has been long-suffering to us, man. He's been long-suffering to us. Worshipping other gods, getting up into Islam, Buddha, uh, Sikhism and, and Hinduism and all of this stuff, man. All right, Jake's been going off. And that's why you got to repent, which brings me to my next precept. But let me finish this off. It says, um, But is long-suffering to us with, uh, not willing that any should perish, but all should come to, to repentance. Now, that's the key. Now, you got to repent. Let's go to James 1. And 21, wherefore lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness and receive with meekness the engrafted word, which is able to save your soul. So you got to receive this word with meekness. All right. You got to receive the engrafted word with meekness because, hey, man, the words of the Lord ain't going to go out of void. All right. And if you transgress this word, the scripture says in Proverbs 13 and 13, whoso despises the word shall be destroyed. Now, if you if you if you go off from the words of the heavenly Father, if you deviate from this, if you deviate from the doctrine, if you teach things that you're not ought to teach, then basically the Lord's got you marked for death, and that's just what it is. And a lot of these congregations, these leaders of these other congregations, they're playing games. But the scripture says that the, the blind lead of the blind, they shall both fall into a ditch. Now you got to thank your Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. And you got certain men that are not deviating from the doctrine, the whole truth, man, the, which are the, the, the uh, uh, apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. That have not diluted this truth. That have given you the straight skinny. 
and they told you exactly how it is, what it is. And, you know, if you've woken up to it, you better fight tooth and nail to, to hold on to that. Right. And that's a part of receiving the engrafted word, because you best believe the apostles and the elders, they are they're teaching unto you the engrafted word, which is what it says and receive with meekness. And that's another key thing. The scripture says that the meek shall inherit the earth. But let's get that real quick and we'll come back. OK, I don't want to speak it. I want to I want to read it because the scriptures can speak louder than I ever could. Matthew five and and and, and um, I'll start from free. Blessed are the poor in spirit for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. All right, and we're in mourning right now. All right, the scripture says it's better to, to go to the house of mourning than to the house of feasting. All right, because all of these people that you see right now giving transgender awards to try to trannies uh, and going on uh, going on marches for like gay pride and stuff, getting all up into to, to, to the wine of Babylon, getting all up into that mirth vibe. They're the ones that are partying now. They're laughing now. And there's a there's a saying: He who laughs first, laugh last. And you guys are going to have the last, we're going to have the last laugh, all right? You you guys ain't going to be laughing in the end. You're going to be in mourning, man. We're the ones that are going to be laughing at the calamity that the Lord said, I will laugh at your calamity, all right? When all, when your when your destruction coming for a whirlwind, the Lord ain't no joke, man, all right? That's why Amos 5 and 18 says, woe to you that desire the day of the Lord. For what day is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light and no brightness in it. You guys, you know, you got pastors out there that ain't teaching the truth, man. They, 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 see, they, they're the ones that are deviating from the straight skinny of the doctrine, man. All right? And they're teaching things that they ought not to teach. And the Lord said he's going to start his, his house, man. All right? So they're going to they're gonna get fucked, man. And it says, Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek. All right? For they shall inherit the earth. All right? And that's the point right there. So the meek is going to inherit the earth. So let's go back to James 1 and 22. It says, Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness. Yeah, put away them childish things, man. Them things that you used to get up to in the world. Hey, put away that old man. Let him take, let him take the back seat of the bus, man. Now you, you know, you know, you're up the front now. Now you gotta you gotta rehearse the righteous acts. You gotta strive for perfection. You gotta mark the perfect man. Hey, what would your shy do in every which way situation that comes across your way, man? Alright? And we ain't gonna say that, you know, you're gonna do exactly how your shy did it, but you got to strive for that because he's the benchmark that we're supposed to be striving towards. That's why we, we say, uh, the scriptures say rather, we follow the lamb whithersoever he goeth, man. All right? And it says, and receive with meekness the engrafted word. What's the word? The words that are written in this book right here, man. The Bible, the words of the, the holy scriptures. All right? Uh, and it says, <clears throat> which is able to save your souls. Okay? So this word that's written in the Bible, man, this word right here is able to save your souls, man. And that's why the Lord, the Lord said he's long suffering that we should all come to repentance, man. So now the doors of repentance are open now. Now you got this ending of net neutrality and all this stuff. The apostles have been going into that heavy, man. The famine of the word is just around the corner. There's going to be a time when they're going to seek to and fro to hear the words of the Lord, but they ain't going to find it. Let's read that in the scriptures. Okay. Like I said, I didn't have a, a specific topic, so I'm just jumping around. Forgive me. Um, but it's all in the spirit, man. All right. Amos 8 and 11 Behold, the days come, saith the Lord Yahweh, power, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, not a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. All right. So there's going to be a famine of hearing the words of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. And right now, how are you hearing the words of the Lord? You're hearing it through his men that he set up. Surely the Lord will do nothing, but he revealeth the secret things unto the servants, the prophets, the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old, prophesied both against many kingdoms. All right. I'm quoting two scriptures there, man. One was Jeremiah 28 and 8. All right. One was Amos 3 and 7. We've been given the secret things that have been revealed unto the servants, what? The prophets. And we are servants. Why? Because we're out there on the highways and the byways. We're putting up videos and we're teaching this word in season, out of season, man. Whether it's hot, cold, it doesn't matter the weather. All right. And this is what we do. We put our lives on the line. We present our bodies as a living sacrifice. Hey, man, much is given, much is required. And that's why the Lord, man, the Lord said, look, those that are going to come to repentance, hey, the meek, hey, the, one, the ones that took a knee and served Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai in, in sincerity, those are the ones that are going to receive the promise, man. All right? Those are the ones that are going to uh, 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 be of the elect. All right? And it says, um, verse 12, and they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north, even to the east, and shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord. Yeah, where is, where's some guys that used to teach in the corners then? No, I heard it was down there. Nah, man, you ain't going to find us out there. Because the famine of the word is coming, man. There's going to be a time of martial law, race riots. All of these things are coming, man. 
All right? And hey, Apostle Gubar says it all the time. This shit can go down in one night. You saw how quick the, uh, the coop in over there in Turkey, how quickly that happened, man. You had taxis doing U-turns on the spot. As soon as a bomb went off down there, uh, gunshots went off down there. I saw it, man, from bird's eye view. They had cameras and shit, helicopters filming this shit, man. You had the London riots a few years back, man. Look how quickly that spread, man. All right, the whole of Tottenham was on flames. Everything was fucked and it spread all over the place, man, like wildfire. So... If you're seeing, if you if you can see that as an example as how quickly things can 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 uh, can get turned around, hey man, all, all it's going to take is is one uh, major false flag attack, which is now they're starting to get back into now they're ramping up with the school shootings over in America. All of these things are now ramping up, and what's going to happen, man? They're going they're going to use these false flag attacks to take further take away the rights of the, of the peons, man. All right, that's that order of chaos, order out of chaos. They didn't want to establish their new world order. They want to implement that RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast. We've been telling you this, man. All right? This is it, man. We're moving quick with this now. That's the time that we're in. All right? Now, it's the time that the, the doors of repentance are open now. You better receive it. In fact, uh, let me finish this off. And they shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord Yahweh and shall not find it. All right? So you ain't going to find it, man. All right? Now, I've got a quick preset that I want to get. Let me see if I can let me sign into this real quick. Uh, let me, in fact, I got one on my mind that I'm going to bring out real quick right here. Isaiah 55 and 6, it says, Seek ye the Lord Yahweh while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. So you got to call upon Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai while he may be found. While the doors of repentance are yet open unto you, man. All right. Do not despise the liberty that you've been given, man. All right. You can see the apostles out there now. You can see the men, uh, the prophets out there on the highways and the byways teaching the word. But if you don't seek him while he may be found, then the doors of repentance are going to close and you're going to be left out there, man. And then look, the blood's been off our hands. We were warning you. We were telling you. We've been sounding the alarm. In fact, that brings me to my next precept. This is Joel. Uh, let's get Joel real quick. Yeah, this is Jerome uh, chapter 2, verse 1. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble for the day of the Lord Yahweh cometh for it is nigh at hand. And we've been saying that, man. All right. The, 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 door, uh, the, uh, the, the, the day of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is coming, man. It's approaching. All right. And it's nigh at hand. All right. <laughs> so let's get this. I'm going to get this. Um... Salakia, bear with me. <clears throat> Trying to get this quick preset now. Uh, it's like, yeah. Hey, let's just get this one right here. This isn't the one I wanted, but it's this one's this one's alright. This is Acts Acts 2 and 38. It says, Then Peter saith unto Then Peter, Peter said unto them, Repent and be and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Yahweh Shai Hamashayak, for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Alright? Um Yeah, that's it, man. So you gotta you, you gotta basically look, man. You gotta repent, alright? And, and and to repent means to be sorry. What are you sorry for? You're sorry for transgressing the laws of the Heavenly Father. You're sorry for being a piece of shit. You're sorry for, for having this uh you know acting out these dirty deeds in this weak flesh. Alright? You're sorry for the shit that you were doing in your pop your previous lives, because reincarnation is in the Bible as well. So you gotta understand we've got a lot to be sorry for, man, because the stuff that we've done, we really deserve to be put to death. In the eyes of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. And that's why Yahweh turned his back on us, man. Read uh, Hosea the first chapter. All right? It will tell you that. So at the same time, it's like, now we've, you know, he sent his only begotten son that he should die for the sins of the nation of Israel to bridge that gap between us and the heavenly father. That's why the Lord said, look, no man cometh, uh, Yahweh Shai said, no man cometh to the father but by me. And that's why you have to call on the name of Yahweh Shai. You have to call on the name of Hamashayach, all right, in order to be saved. All right, you can't come up some other way. You got guys, you know, teaching that oh, the name is uh, Most High and Christ Bless, or the name is Ahaya by uh, by Shem Yeshaya. All of this stuff, but the the scriptures, hey, 
the, the scripture says, what is his name and what is his son's name if thou canst tell? All right, so you got to have the, see what I'm saying? The, 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 the mysteries and the secret things are revealed unto what? The servants, the prophets, man. The true mysteries, man. All right. In fact, the name is so important. Let's get another one in Acts. Let's get Acts chapter 4, <clears throat> verse 12. And it says, now there is their salvation in any other. For there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. So that name is important to call upon. All right. If you're calling upon Jesus Christ in the time when you see Leviathan walking down the street, if you're calling on Jesus Christ when you see a chariot in the air, all right, about to zap your ass, then you, or a miss or a missile on its way, then hey, there's a good hey man. I'm just gonna say it like this: you ain't gonna make it, man. You gotta call upon the name, the true name, man. All right. Because neither is there salvation in any other name whereby we must be saved. All right. Let me get since we're on the name, I'm gonna get another precept on the name. Uh, here we go. This is Isaiah chapter 12 and 4. It says, And in that day shall ye say, Praise the Lord Yahweh, call upon his name, declare his doings among the people, make mention that his name is exalted. So it's important that we exalt the names of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai in the name of the fa uh, Father and the Son. Okay? We have to exalt those names. That's the key to salvation. The scripture says what? Let's get Proverbs 18 real quick. Proverbs 18 and 10. It says, the name of the Lord Yahweh is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. And words are vibrational, man. All right? Names are vibrational and they have meanings, man. All right? And that's why we have to call upon the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right? Because in the past, when the, the scripture says the, the things that are written before time were written for our learning. You had countless amounts of great men of, of old, of prophets, that called upon the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and they got saved. All right? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. All right, that's just one example. Daniel in the lion's den, all right? Starved out lions and whatever. He got thrown into a den of lions and they didn't even touch him, man, because the Lord was dealing with Daniel. He called upon the name, all right? The name of the Lord is a strong tower and that's going to be the strongest, our strongest defense and uh, in accordance with faith, all right? Because uh, the scripture says, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of what? Salvation. In that time when all hell breaks loose out here, when you've got martial law troops and Leviathan walking up and down the street. And I say it's so blase, but at the same time, hey, the scripture says that this time that's coming is going to be the time like no other. So the, the, the faith that you got now, you better hold on to it. We're going Because we're going to need every ounce of that to get through the times to come. Okay? So with that, man, hey, Lord willing, you are king, we're edified, man. Stay on the path. You know, mark the perfect man. What would you, how would I do, man? And, you know, the scripture says that the meek shall inherit the earth, not the proud. Because the Lord hates pride, all right? In fact, that's the, 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 one of the top things that he hates, man, all right? So you got to really examine yourselves whether you be in the faith, man. you got to really, you know, you know, uh, uh, and, and, and being humbled, and I spoke about this in my last video, man, uh, being humbled is a process. First, in order to become humble, you have to be humiliated, all right? And in order for you to be humiliated, that's taking an L, man. And, you know, that's, that's, that's a part of the meek inheriting the earth. So, you know... You know, you brother, you can take that on board, man. Lord willing, you're edified, man. So that I'm going to say shalom.